I decided on the day I feel like I look my worst to film a vlog. That's great. Yeah, not my best day. But that's okay. It's behind me. It's the weekend now. I can pick my feet up and start reviewing all the books I have to read or er, reread in English if I want to pass the exam. An Ideal Husband, read it most recently, Oscar Wilde, really great, I recommend it, like I already did, but if you're, okay, yep, if you're just watching this and never read my blog, yeah, I recommend this to you, you should read it. Uh, Mansfield Park by Jane Austen, I've never read any Austen, neither have I read Oscar Wilde before, so I, I liked it. But I didn't like it. It's kind of a weird mix between the two. Certainly highlighted a lot in it and marked things as important. A Street Kind of Desire. I really like this. Interesting cover, I might add. I liked the film version of it with Marlon Brando. For a good week there, I was in love with Marlon Brando. And then I realized he was 80 and old. And he's dead, so there was conditions. Really, really liked this. It's by CT Dan Gurunga. Yep, probably slaughtered that. The Passage to India, I really enjoyed by Ian Forster. I forced my friend to read it. He was not even in the class. Um, and he really enjoyed it, so I feel like my recommendations are valuable. You should listen to them. And yeah. Yesterday I went to a book sale at my library and found some really awesome books and in no particular order I'm going to show them to you. First one is this tiny, super tiny book and it's actually, oh, I have it upside down, Shakespeare's Works. And this one features Othello, Coriolanus, and Julius Caesar. And I just thought it was so awesome. Like, look how tiny that print is. And I don't necessarily like these plays particularly, but I figured it'd be great to like fold it into something. I'm not finished. Well, this is my book sculpture, as you can see. It's just some random like treasury of American folklore book on the outside. Yeah, so I figured it'd be cool to try and fold this as well. I got this Thinking in Pictures by Temple Grandin because I watched the movie Temple Grandin. I know, crazy. Claire Danes in it, amazing actress. Um, and I was really fascinated with the idea of um, she's the first person who has autism to talk about having autism. So I think it's really neat, and I'm really excited to read this. Like, I want to put off doing revision for that book. Next, Fifth Avenue, 5 a.m. Audrey Hepburn, Breakfast at Tiffany's, and the Dawn of the Modern Woman. I f kind of just got it because of the cover. Um, I figured my friend Amelia, Amelia, if you're watching this, hi, she would really enjoy it. So I'll probably be gifting it to her, kind of like a late birthday present. Kodak Guide to Shooting Great Travel Pictures. Not really any explanation, just thought it'd be handy. I got the poetry of Robert Frost, well technically my mom did. But I'm going to steal it for now because I want to find the one poem she really likes and copy it into a card for Mother's Day. Shh, don't tell her. This is kind of a break from the book section. Um, I got Ordinary People. So I got Best Picture in 1980, Best Director Robert Redford, who's probably one of my favorite directors. Um, don't know if he directed The Way We Were, but he starred in that. And that was amazing, and I really liked The Conspirator. So I want to watch this. Again, just put off my revision and watch it. I got Juliet Naked by Mick Hornby. I got Peter Pan by J.M. Barry, of course. And I kind of like the cover just because it's a little bit different. And I've never actually read the book. I figured that's probably a good thing to do. I get this, Robert Louis Stevenson, blah, 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 blah. Um, again, another good candidate for book folding. I like the sides of it. The gold. I got a copy of The Great Gatsby. Not that I don't already own two copies, um, but this is different, so it's justified. I kind of like the little, like, pencil drawing there, if you can see that. Um, 
So that will be my copy. And this will also be my copy of The Hobbit by J.R.R. Tolkien. Um, I just, I loved the cover. I scooped it up because I want to read it again before um, the movie comes out. I cannot formulate sentences. I'm just gonna go now. But this has been a vlog. I hope maybe you'll read some books and stuff.